Okay, today I'm gonna uh, try to work on my tires for my little car, my little sign. I'm gonna do it probably and get this oil change done on this. Uh, it's a 2005. Uh, hold on. Get this set and have ready off. 2005 uh, Rabbit. 2.5. I'm putting the window down. It ain't raining. Yeah, I recommend if your car has been setting the which this car has been setting a couple of days. But you can see uh, just a little uh stuff on the brake rotor. That comes right off. It's got new tires on it. Uh start your engine, let it warm up a little bit. Where in the heck did that come from? We don't got them in our tree. Uh, but anyway, start it up, let it warm up before you do your oil change. You don't want to do a cold, you don't want to do a cold oil change. You don't want it hot, but might have to uh, crank down the uh, seal a little bit there. Yeah, definitely don't want a hot oil change. You can get burnt, but do a, a little warm, and then the oil will come out. Because if you don't, and the oil is old in a car, it gets thicker, and it won't drain as good. So warm your engine up. This is just a little tricky to do. And on these cars, this comes up through here. Your air filter is actually under this. It's a nightmare to do. It, if you're not really sure what to do, you got to be careful because it's got clips in there that can break, which they were broke. Someone broke it. When, this used vehicle when I fixed them. So it's got a whole belly pan on the bottom of this. So we got to jack it up and get the uh, start on the belly pan. Okay, I lift it up and it's leaning. Uh, so you can just water down through there, but looks like it's got something le leaking over there. I don't know. Let me show you about this belly pan. It's got all Mac lights on it. No, I ain't nothing like there. But this belly pan usually has. Eight, I think, or more. Yeah, one here, two, three, four, supposed to be. And then you'll have another four on this side, but we bought it used and it's only got three, so make sure you put the two. If you only got this, make sure you at least got two up front. Because the back. If it, it would go up if it hit, would hit something the front it would dig under So letting that warm up a little bit and It's also though I got our standard filter on it, so you don't want to use a filter wrench like this You you want it's got a uh, it's got housing in there. I'll show you. It's plastic. You gotta be very careful. You break that housing, you gotta buy a new one. Because that's what holds up the element, the uh, air, like an air filter it looks like, but it's a wool filter. Okay, that belly pan takes a Torx. It's a, uh, I think it's a T25. I'm trying to, Let's see if we can set it down here. Yeah, it's a T25. That's what takes that bike pan off. As long as the right bolts are in it. The factory ones. Alright, let me get under here. You take out them bolts. And you put, and then what you do is push forward a little bit and snap it out. Pull down, snap it out. But here is that canister I was talking about. That's where your oil filter is. Under here. 
percent. What you do at start is take this off. It just it. and then you can push up on that. I'll show you. Give me one second. Let me turn the car off. Warmed up enough. Okay, I do not care who tells you this or what this is or There's some people out there let me get this other This takes six quarts oil now this rabbit. It's a 2.5 So Sometimes Sometimes I'll tell you uh I Don't know if I can hold this in my legs and do it. There we go this just pops out. 
but there there's a uh, ring down in here it's a rubber ring o-ring gasket sometimes people say oh you don't need to change that if it looks good no change it every single time change it don't listen to them cheap insurance make sure it's all the way down you i wasn't hitting it hard comes with two rings because this is filter hits it works with two different cars make sure on the rabbit 2008 rabbit you do not put the the rubber ring the round one put the exact same ring make and make sure you put it in the exact same way i'm gonna pull this back off it's already got oil in there, so I don't really have to put any oil in there. And then you can take all the rest of your stuff, throw it in the bag to be recycled. Yes, this can be recycled. It's best to throw this in your trash can, but you can recycle it. They recycle oil. And all that is a paper filter, so. And then, you're going to come over here. I got oil all over myself and my hands. And no gloves. Like some, I was watching a video last night of this guy. He makes me laugh. He knows some stuff. He does know some stuff. He's telling you stuff, but. Some of the stuff he does, I would not do. There's no way. And then. Just come in here make sure you get it fitting up top right I don't think that's all the way on there so there it is see now I didn't try to force that shell bed up here it's only plastic There you go. And then you should be able to screw this on with your, mostly with your hands. It's only plastic, remember? And there, you're going to tighten this up to about the same as you would a regular filter. And that's just that, that O ring. I'm gonna. I don't got no pressure on it yet at all, so I'm gonna. I'm just making sure, cause it is making a weird sound to me, and that's the reason, cause it start it's starting to push the filter on. I just want to make sure the O rings right right way, so I'm good with that. It starts making a weird sound. You don't know what it is. Take it back off. And if you see up in there, it's also supposed to be all the way on. And I was doing it with my fingers. So. I mean, crap. I mean, I'm trying to hold this camera and do this all at the same time. It's not tight yet. Now it's tight. Alright. Now this. This filter does stick, or the filter wrench does stick on there. As you can see, it's stuck. But do not jerk it. You can break that plastic, guys. There it goes. Plink. Yep. All you had to do is put a little pressure on it. Comes right off. And 
And there are gloves out there that you can wear. If you don't want to get a lot of oil on you. Thinner gloves where you can actually feel what you're doing. Because you want to be able to feel everything that you're doing. Looks like it's, uh, I got a little leak somewhere down below. Or something, but I'll clean that up anyway. And it's nothing bad. Oh, no, it might be from right here, too. I don't know, we'll clean that up. I clean that up every time, so. If it's, when you take that pan off, if it's dripping, dripping, I mean, like, just running, you know you got a leak. That, it's been like four, uh, three, four months since we did an oil change. So, I don't know what that is. I'd clean it up and find, we'll have to check it in a week or two. So. Now we're going to go for the, the actual oil here in a second. Alright, now the oil is back here and it's going to be like an 18, a 17 or an 18. Just pull that out. I'll show you in a second. Get back here and tell you what size it is. And, and this, if you're doing torque specs, these are around 10. I don't know exactly for this car. And I was wrong, guys. That, that's 17 and then 18. Like I said, it's been a couple months. I don't do this car all the time. We'll try a 19. I don't think 19 is going to fit. Might be standard. Or I might have to use standard. Nope, 19. Uh, so. Always remember, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So. Th this will be tightening it. This will be loosening it. So, let's see if we can get in here. How tight this and be real tight. And it ain't, see? You get in there and it's super tight. Whoever did your old change before didn't do it right. This is a steel pan, but some of the newer cars actually have aluminum pans on it. If you tighten that too much, it's, you know, at least it can actually damage your old pan. And for, all right, well, you just take it out. Threads. I had to clean the threads. It got something wrong. And then I'll show you more. Uh, let me get my chair or my scooter around here. Uh, and it's coming up. And let's see. It looks like it's really black, but it's not really too bad. And this is synthetical. You want to use what your car recommends. There was a guy last night. I was watching and laughing again. He said about. uh, You only use. Some, about using regular oil. If your car comes out with synthetic oil. And it's made for synthetic oil. Use it. Don't put a regular oil on it guys. All these newer engines are made different. They get different tolerances than the older ones. They're closer. And see, I thought it was like really bad, like a leak or something there, but it's really not. Just dirt and grime and stuff. I'll clean it up even better, but. And we, and if it gets down to like that, and, let's see. If I, there, because this is cell phone. Let it, let it drain for a couple minutes. Don't want, some people are like, oh yeah, it's done. No, let it drain. 
The more oil you get out, the better. I'll let that drain for another couple minutes. Because it's warm, but I touched the oil pan, but it's not... It's not really hot or anything, so... It's not going to hurt anything to let the oil drain a couple extra minutes. Now i got to find... There we go. I think the threads might have been dirty on this or something. And then they are. So I'll clean them up. And another thing he was saying about. He bought. <laughs> he said about. On the older cars it might be. He says. Always change. Uh, your O-ring. On your. Uh, drain plugs. Some, uh, some O-rings are metal. They don't get changed. That one's metal. He was saying they're like they're rubber. That's metal. And I'm going to show you something. This is something that really gets me. That's why I was laughing at him. And I put a couple comments on there. Guys, how are you going to change it? You can't change that. It's made on there. What do you mean? You're going to buy a brand new uh, drain plug every single time? See it? I'm not... I'm not bull crapping you. It's on there. It's made on there. That don't come off. He was saying about air filters. With the factory... Some cold air filters are made... They will give you a better gas mileage. Spark some spark plugs can give you better gas mileage. I ain't saying it's recommended to do, but there is little teeny things out there that you can do to make your car get better gas mileage. Your intake and your exhaust, if you can get your motor to flow a little better, free flowing, it will give you better gas mileage. And it do, does not hurt the motor if you do it right. Now I said if. There's a lot of young kids out here just going to Pet Boys and buying these cold air filter little pieces and putting on there. And it's sending codes through your motor and all this crap. You don't want to do that. K&N make a decent filter. All right that you can put on there and stuff so and it but it's it's a micro it's same as the uh, the uh, span standard it just flows a little better so all right let me go ahead and put that back together and then we'll start filling her up and i'll show you the rest okay another little trick a lot of you guys grab this can and filling it like this. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. Now, that was funny. Let me clean that off. Ain't gonna hurt. I'll clean that better. But, you grab it and start filling it like this. If you tilt your old can, or whatever you got, and turn it to the side, and pull her slow, it won't go, go gonk, 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 gonk. And on this car, you definitely want to pull her slow. I'll show you why in a minute. It's got a part in the actual valve cover. If you pull it too quick, it'll come out and go down over the motor. And then you got to take this uh, plastic cover off the motor and everything. So take your time. And I use Castro GTX, that's what, or I like Castro. If it's good enough for John Force, it's good enough for me.
Now, I gotta see where the other O is. O for, for. This is mine. I the used O. Yep. Well, it's not used. It's new, but. All right. Let me. I'll go ahead and do that. Find the other O, and I'll show it to you. All right. Now, I found it was in the hatch. Now that's why you don't want to fill it up quick, see? It's got a little uh shelf there. It's only got the one little side it goes in. So you can do the same trick for this one. I ain't gonna show you how I'm uh doing it. It's the same thing as that. Take your and if you got fingernail. Screwdriver or anything, fill it right off every time. So, just hold it to the side. Because imagine if you grab that and started dumping this way, this whole canister, the end or the whole end's gonna fill up. Turn to the side, start going half of it, and the air's still gonna go in there unless you turn it real quick. So, let's go. Man, that's a long video. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and fill this up. Okay, it's all done. Let that set for a, a minute, and I did. I know it's a mess here, but I live in the country. I am a country person. A lot of people call us rednecks. I don't know why, but... Put your cap back on. All right, I'm going to start it for a minute. And we're going to check for uh, oil leaks. Don't just start it up and shut it right back off. Let it run for a minute. Because if you don't let it run for a minute, it ain't going to build pressure up. It's got to have pressure in the motor. And then you can find your oil leak. Alright, now we're going to go on and eat. Alright. Engine auto down. You don't need to rev your motor up or nothing. Just let it auto. And it's always good to put jack stands under here. For safety sakes, but I really, today haven't been under the actual car as in per se and if you see where I jacked it up I jacked it up on part of the A arm on this where it goes in the back one not the front one the back it's got a big rubber bushing uh, jacked on that no leaks and it's not going to hurt that the car is leaning a little bit. You drive cars around the mountains and everything going this way. Now, do not go and just grab your, your dipstick and check the oil. That's a no-no. A lot of people do that. One second. I'm going to pull it out. and You don't need to say it and just clean it. If I had five hands, I could show you. But anyway, you can see in the middle, the thing that looks like a Chevy, in a way. This actually is a Chevy symbol. Right there. That's where it should be in the middle. But, right now, you ain't going to be able to tell until it's flat on the ground. So, I just cleaned it off. We're going to put it down. Then we're going to check the oil. I'm going to go ahead and put the shield back on. So, let me go ahead and do that. And we'll get back to you. I'm sitting down here. The setting not moving the engine for about three minutes. At least. I've already checked the oil. I'm going to show you the proper way to check the oil. Yes, there's a proper way to check your oil. A lot of people don't do this, but 
should be done. The young kids that work at these Walmarts and these Jiffy Lubes and stuff like that probably don't even do it all the time right. Some of them do. Now I pulled this out and you can see it's wet. The whole thing is wet all the way up to the top the max where you can, but if you start to turn it over all right right there you really can't you really let me see if I can get down here without taking new oil there's a dry spot right in the middle of right above that little spot a little bit so it's right on the money you see it right there see it see where it's really wet here on the front always turn your oil your dipstick tube or dipstick over check both sides one side because going down the tube one side might have more oil on the other you want to make sure make sure you look at both sides so all right that's it that's it for the oil change it's all done ready to go and if you like this the tutorial or this video of the 2008 rabbit a lot of people these are jetta platforms or jetta went into them or gti's or i think gti's not jetta i don't know but this is the rabbit 2.5 so if you like this video give me a thumbs up didn't thumbs down please watch one please subscribe and bye till later